Now new at six, this is what you call a meeting of the minds. The top health leaders from around the world are here in San Antonio for the third annual Global Health Symposium. It wrapped up today at the Botanical Gardens. RJ Marquez looks at the event's goals for the world and also here in the San Antonio area. The pandemic made people realize that it's not something we can ignore any longer. Barry County Commissioner Rebecca Clay Flores says COVID-19 put a spotlight on several inequities facing our communities. But then equity and injustices that we've been talking about all along, including, you know, things like the digital divide, um, lack of access to health care, where all the hospitals are located in this um, community. Clay Flores says Bear County is already taking steps to address everything from public to mental health issues in underserved areas. For $60 million for public health, and we're starting our own public health division. We are, um, 30 million of that is gonna go to a new public health building that's gonna be next to the UHS hospital on, that's gonna be built on the south side. The commissioner was part of a global health symposium hosted by Texas Biomed, where investment and research is being done to prepare for the threat and impact of infectious diseases. A lot of these diseases that are out there also predispose our communities locally to infectious diseases. And so our researchers are studying in all of those areas. Dr. Anwanyu says this is an opportunity to gather some of the brightest medical and research minds to try and solve global health issues and build trust in the science behind vaccines and other treatments. Until um, our healthcare providers uh, or people who are in science and biomedical research can develop trust with the community, you know, the therapeutics and all that will not be as effective. This is the third year that Texas Biomed has hosted this global health symposium they tell us that they had about 500 attendees for the two-day event, and it continues to grow by the year. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.